in the world is that? Uh, Heatwave, is this a good guy or a bad guy? Insignia says Autobot, but I've never seen any bot that big. Oh, well, it looks like he means us no harm. So far. <laughs> Thanks for the save, but I got it from here. Let go! Hey, did you hear me? You gonna let us down or what? That bot's got some nerve. Are, but you and I are gonna have some words. High tide, my friend. Welcome to Earth. Opie, yo land yacht. How are you? Optimus. Thank you for answering my call. Good thing I did. I was having a gander at the local seabed when I caught their SOS. Found this wee rowboat circling the drain. Wait, you. You know this guy? This is High Tide, my old comrade in arms and the finest master seaman who ever lived. High Tide, meet rescue bot Heatwave. And these are some of the humans I was telling you about. Dr. Green and Frankie, Graham and Cody Burns. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for saving us. Huh. Now then, you wanted some words with me. Any in particular? Just, uh... Well, thanks for the rescue. Come. I want you to meet the rest of the team as well. <sighs> Rowboat. Hi, Ty. Any luck? I tried to plug the leak. Couldn't be done. We await your order, sir. What now? Ah, your cockamamie planet and its flaming oceans. Look! Finally! Somebody who does know fire! <sighs> Vacation's over, Hotshot. Time to get to work. Hey, I was waiting for you. End of the line code, too dangerous. I need some of that goo you used to soak up the oil. Oh, and, uh, permission to come aboard, sir. Granted. Chase, you and Servo load up his tanks with a dispersant. We need to put that new cap on the leak, but we have to get to it first. I'm going in for Doc and Frankie. Follow me on your board. Chase, you with us? I am not sure my mopping experience will prove useful, but I am most happy to help. Rescue bots, surf to the rescue! Ah! Refuse. 
refuses to stay in place. High tide. Time to go Megabot. Just what I was thinking, Blip. You'll be a sailor yet. Trip. We're gonna need a bigger road. Okay, that pedals the gas, and that one's the brake. Thanks, Cody. I have two of my own, remember? What's that thing Cade's playing with? The GPS. Just planning my date with Haley tomorrow. We'll start with a picnic. Nothing says romance like some hummus by the river. <sighs> Fasten your seatbelt, and you're ready to roll, Heatwave. Watch the sun go down over Mount Griffin. We should probably bring a blanket. Hey, lover boy, can we begin now? No, oh, whatever you're. <laughs> Hard to believe this is Heatwave's first driving lesson. Cade must be a really good teacher. Yeah, slow down! Relax. I'm a vehicle myself, remember? Attention, rescue team. I'm in pursuit of a speeder on Old Canyon Road. Anyone else in the area? We sure could use a hand. Oh, no! No, Daddy! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You stay the remote. Strangest of places, Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect, live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies, to others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue, a hero! out, citizen, and be embraced by the firm but fair hand of the law. I think I'm gonna... Oh. So, driving lessons over. Oh, oh, no! Blades, <laughs> oh, look at you! Woo! They don't call me swivel rotors for nothing! Frankie, I'm riding my bike to the museum. You want to come? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Cody. Maybe later. After stage 12. <sighs> okay. Yeah! Uh, 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 Way uh, to go! <laughs> flank takes your guard. And Archer takes your flank. What? <sighs> Whoa! What's this called? The Cybertronian name is essentially untranslatable. Chase always wins comes pretty close. Can I play? Presently, the game is programmed for only two players. Perhaps you should speak to Dr. Green. He and Francine assisted us with its construction. Sure is nice not having to act like bucketheads around those two anymore. Um, uh, maybe we can hang out later? Okay, beat this move, I dare ya. <sighs> Great. Try it again, Dad. Never letting Heat Wave near this thing again. Hey, Boulder. Doc. That's cool. 
Doc and I have been doing a little R&D. Needs more D. Ever since Boulder began sharing his Cybertronian technology with me, the ideas keep coming. In addition to all the updates to the firehouse, I've had... 43 new inspirations. 44, if you include my inspiration counter. Tell them about the vacuum accelerator, Doc. This small tube accelerates the natural process of submolecular oscillation. Allowing physical mass to overcome spatial restraints. Uh, I was with you up until a small tube. I'll demonstrate. Hmm, we need a test subject. Ah! Just press the remote and... Hey! Who stole my tools? <laughs> Not stolen. Teleported. Noble! Can that teleporter move anything? Anywhere? Theoretically. Yeah, so where did it theoretically move my toolbox to, Doc? We don't know where the teleported objects go precisely, but we can bring them right back. That is, we should be able to. The test object always returned before. Some new factor must have altered the mechanism. But what's changed? Cody, check this out. I installed a mobile command center, like the one inside the firehouse. It's fully loaded. And apparently operational. Emergency dispatch. We see you, Mr. Whitaker. I'll send somebody out right away. Dad, a parasailer got caught on the lighthouse. He's stuck up there. Meet me in the garage, team. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Mr. Whitaker, GPS says help should be there in about two minutes. I can buy Kate a new toolbox, but a new teleporter will be a bit harder to come by. Uh, found it. What wonderful news! This proves the device can teleport even gigantic objects. Daddy, I'm pretty sure Cody was inside that particular gigantic object. Oh my. Hello? Cody, where are you? In the MHQ. At the river? Which side? Neither. Teleporter? It must be somewhere near you. Got it! Dad says there's a reset button on the side. Try pushing it. Nothing happened. Now what? We're on our way! Perhaps my remote will do the trick once we're closer. In the meantime, Cody, think buoyant thoughts! Do you remember, Blades, we helped land his plane? I never forget a rescue, but I didn't know his name. Funny that you do. I pay attention to the other pilots. Name two others. <sighs> Just drop your winch, okay? <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Why does it always have to be about you? You're where? All right, stay put, son. Do not try to get out on your own. Somehow, Doc's device teleported Cody to the river. He said you could explain it, Boulder? Well, um, the small tube oscillates molecules on a subatomic level, and then it... Later. Vehicle mode, please. You too, Chase. Heatwave's staying with you, Cade. It's not like he's doing anything. You do know we're on the same comlink, right? 
Fine. Heat wave with me. Let's move, team. Cade will fly you as close as we can. B be careful with this one, okay? Always am. Be extra careful. This one's name is Taylor. Blades, I'm never oiling your gearbox again. <gasps> Next time you try this goofy sport, I'll teach you how to land properly. Well, next time, don't run into a lighthouse, and I won't need to land. Ah, uh, looks like you sprained your ankle. Better stay off it until we can call for a ride. What, do you think you're some kind of doctor? EMT training on the mainland. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, hey. Where's my comm link? On second thought, maybe you should try walking after all. I don't need any help. Ah! Oh, the teleporter still isn't responding to the remote, Dad. There must be a more powerful signal overriding us. We need to give the remote a boost. Won't be necessary, Doc. We can boost the whole MHQ. Are you all right? Yeah, but I'm kind of wishing I brought a bathing suit. Dad, are you there? It's Cade. He's lost in the mountains somewhere with Taylor. So, Hotshot couldn't handle things by himself, huh? The parasail flew off with him holding on to it. We're searching, but... Even if we found them, the trees are too dense for me to land. As soon as Cody's safe, we'll meet you at the end of the old canyon road to initiate a ground search. <laughs> Cody, hang on to something! Ah! Climb out toward me, Cody! Ah! What? <gasps> Cody! Boiling chips! Where'd the MHQ go? when I wish gravity were not a law. I know I said I missed hanging out with you guys, but this is not what I had in mind. On the plus side, I bet hardly anyone gets a view like this. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Mayday! SOS! This is not a test! Mommy! Those are all the human distress signals I know. Chase, where are you? We find ourselves in a precarious position atop Mount Griffin. And he means the very top, Dad. We see you, Cody. There is no way this is gonna work. <laughs> than trying to outrun a bear. I'd only have to outrun you. Look, I know you rescued me and all, but can you try being a little bit friendly? Sorry. I guess my sister got all the charm in the family. And all the looks, too.
Kincaid's not gonna like that. Wait! You're a sight for sore optics? Headquarters is way too mobile. Cody! Oh, Cody. Ah, this thing is nothing but trouble. Ah. Hey, Doc and I put a lot of thought into that. Apparently, not enough. No more sightseeing. We're going to find Cade. You mean drive there? In this? No way! Cade and Taylor are in a forest so dense you couldn't get through, let alone this monster. <sighs> Too bad we can't teleport ourselves there. Even if we knew where Cade was, there's no way to control where the teleporter takes us. The river? The mountain? And then, oddly, an outdoor cinema. The device's range of destinations does seem random. Wait. It's not random. Cody, can you call up the MHQ's GPS from back here? Sure. Those are all the places Cade was talking about taking Haley. He programmed them in here to plan his route. That's amazing. You actually pay attention to Cade. Don't you dare tell him. When the command center went online, it took over the teleporter's controls. So if we are able to determine Cade's current coordinates... And Taylor's. <laughs> we should be able to program them into the GPS and teleport there. Except... How far did you throw that thing? Nobody complained when I was lobbing champ three years running. Dad! <laughs> we were halfway up Mount Griffin when we got your call. <sighs> it's hard keeping up with all of you. And the strangest thing happened on the way here. This hit my windshield. It must have teleported itself. Um, sort of. I'll explain later. Did you ever have the feeling you were a few steps behind? More like a whole staircase. I think that's bare for you are lunch. Yeah, now let's send him to another restaurant. Bad. Maybe my sister was right about you. Danny? She knows who I am? What did she say? Kate! Kate, come in! <laughs> Kate! Kate, come in! He's still not answering. That doesn't mean the comlink isn't putting out a signal. <laughs> Found it! Heatwave? I'm entering Kate's coordinates into the GPS. Strap in. Uh, 
But how do we determine precisely when we're going to... You're not hurt. Uh, check out the foot. Oh, I meant, I... I mean, uh... Oh. So ask her out already. <laughs> Somehow a family always ends up back together, doesn't it? Take us home, son. Ready, everybody? Ready. 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 Totally. Affirmative. Ready. Yep. Let's go. Let's do it. Yep. <gasps> I just had another inspiration. That makes 45. <laughs> I'm not sure you should count the teleporter, Daddy. That's still a little... <laughs> Unpredictable.